The state of Texas has been facing a real serious crisis. The whole state is dealing with electricity and water shortages due to the snowstorm and freezing weather that hit recently. The biggest and most urgent concern is the hospitals. One hospital in Austin had to move some of its critically ill patients due to the lack of water. Another hospital was forced to distribute bottled water to patients and staff to wash their hands. Some residents have been slowly getting their electricity back but are having to deal with frozen or bursted pipes, which means they can't shower, they can't use the bathroom, and they have to get creative with ways to feed themselves and their families. They're also still freezing due to the lack of heating systems. Some families are having to decide between sheltering in hotels and risking their family's health during a pandemic or staying in their homes without electricity and running water and trying to find ways to stay warm and fed. Texas residents and people all over the globe are calling on local and government officials to offer more aid and assistance to people suffering. The residents don't feel that they are doing enough or are worried enough about their citizens. They are especially angry with Ted Cruz, who fled the state with his family to Cancun, Mexico, when his own home lost power. After much backlash, he returned to Texas and issued an apology, but it wasn't good enough. The Texas Democratic Party is even calling for his resignation. Due to the coronavirus, it has also been recommended to limit travel out of the country, so that's another reason people are so angry with him. We've dealt with 2020, and it doesn't seem like 2021 is off to a much better start. But there's always good news somewhere. So let's talk about some of that. Christian Jacob is proof that it's never too late to find your family. Christian spent his whole life in foster care until he had aged out of the system. At 27 years old, he was finally adopted into a family. And although he is an adult, a judge allowed the LaChapelle Miller family to adopt him. He now has their last name on his birth certificate and the forever family he always wanted. He also hopes that his story will open doors for others who might want to do the same thing and have aged out of the system still looking for a family. He currently attends Rhode Island College and is working towards his bachelor's degree in justice studies. If you'd like more info on the adoption process, you can visit you can visit adoptionri.org. I'm Kwana, and thank you for watching Anchor TV.